We think about research as moving from the bench in the laboratory to the bedside where the patient is, and actually back. We learn from the patients and we move to make things better all the time. The original research efforts became consolidated under the Lindsley F. Kimball Research Institute. And so it's that entity uh, that has produced all the life-saving cures that we've come up with over the years, as well as spawned the whole uh, cord blood program led by Dr. Pablo Rubenstein. The blood center is a place where our everyday work is focused on patients, and for the researchers is that additional opportunity to contribute, the likes of which are very rare in human experience finding out how things work. It is about collaboration. It is about seeing a different way of approaching a technique, of using a new tool, all in order to improve how patient care is delivered. Investigating things like hepatitis, HIV, sickle cell, transplantation, leukemia and lymphoma. How can we ensure that the blood supply is completely safe from infectious diseases to make it compatible for the recipients. In the future, we could have pasteurized red cells. We're looking at a process right now of taking blood from many donors and pulling it into a vat, purify it, standardize it, make sure it's free of all diseases, and then package it back into a pharmaceutical grade transfusion product. We are at a new frontier. The stem cells uh, that reside in the placental cord can become anything and can be used as a replacement, among other things, for bone marrow. About 14,000 people a year are uh, diagnosed in the U.S. alone that need bone marrow transplants. But only about 4,000 people find matches. Without a match, these people will not last very long. We couldn't find a match. And that's when I learned a lot about cord blood. Cord blood is a growing uh, alternative to transplant for people with blood disorders, such as blood cancers or sickle cell anemia, in fact. It was collected and it was stored. I don't know when that was, but I know it was there for me when I needed it. We have one of the largest inventories of cord blood in the world. Those cells now, even though they've been frozen for many years, can be expanded into new types of cells that can be used in new indications how to help kids with traumatic brain injuries, how to treat the heart to repair itself after myocardial infarction and heart attack. These are really important issues. What seems like science fiction could be our future. It could be growing red cells from stem cells or what Dr. Mitchell is doing. I am growing platelets from stem cells. We're using three-dimensional membranes and new culture conditions. And what I really hope to do is to make enough platelets to transfuse into a person. This would revolutionize transfusion medicine because we'd be able to have an unlimited source of platelets for transfusion for our patients. The future of transfusion is very bright. The future of cell therapies is incredible. The, the promise of what can be done, grown, made, the treatments available are virtually unlimited. It should be a very interesting time. What uh, mind can conceive, man can achieve. <laughs>